Um, Ms. Bumpus, did you tell any member of the defense about the uh, details of the content of the off-the-record conversation that you had with Ms. Hilton on June 10th? That I had with Ms. Hilton and Mr. Copeland? Yes. When did you tell them? The same day. Did you tell them everything you remember about it? I told them everything I remember. Do you remember how long after the conversation took place it was that you told them? I don't know, maybe like an hour. Was court in recess or was court in session when you told them? Court was in recess. Between the time that the conversation between you, Ms. Hilton, and Mr. Copeland ended, and the time that you told defense attorneys all of the details you could remember about the off the record conversation was court in session at any point. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Was court ever in session between the time that you finished your conversation with Mr. Copeland mm -hmm. and the time you told defense what happened in the meeting? Y yes. Court was in session during that hour? Had court resumed? Correct. Had court, did court at any time resume from the time that you left the meeting in chambers to the time that you had the conversation with defense? Just in that moment, from chambers to conversation with defense? Oh, no. Court had not resumed? No. Right. And when you um, said earlier... I mean, because remember, we came straight down here and sat down and immediately started. So I didn't speak to anyone. And when you were speaking earlier about um, when Mr. after Mr. Copeland came in and you said you weren't sure whether I was in the room, mm -hmm. did the portion about judge closure ears occur before or after Mr. Copeland came into the room? For sure, before. Okay. And at that point, was the court reporter taking down any? No. And at that point, did the court give any indication, did the judge give any indication that he was paying attention to it, whatever it was that he said? I, I can't answer that. Oh, did he give any indication? Did you see any indication that he was paying attention? I can't answer that. Yeah, you can. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to him. So no, as far as you know, he gave no indication. She's asking from your personal observation. Answer it as to that. That's what she's asking you. I was. I would have to say no, but I would also say I wasn't looking at him at all. Do you remember Miss um, Hilton at some point talking about uh, the judge closing his ears at any time? I don't remember. And with looking at the transcript at all refresh your memory. I'm sure. Okay. Would you take a look on page 26, line 5 of the transcript? And since it's a part of the record, read from line 2 to the end of line. Let me just ask you this. Do you see where Ms. Hilton says, Judge, you might want to close your ears? Yes. Did you hear that phrase or something like that said more than once in that meeting? Yeah. It, it, before Simone got there, I, I know exactly what I'm talking about. You so are you in here at this point? So my only question is, did you, did you hear that phrase more than once in the meeting? I, I can't remember if, if it's that exact phrase, but... I heard you say something to that extent, and I heard her say that. Okay. Were you the first person, to your knowledge, that brought to defense's attention that there was, in fact, a meeting in change? No. Who do you know? Do you have personal knowledge of who that person is? No. How then do you know that you were not the first person who brought that to their attention? Because they asked me about the meeting. Did they give any commentary to you that led you or led you to believe that they knew 
Yes. What did they tell you? Is it true that? Sure. He, yes, sustain. Can you yes. be specific? Who specifically came up to you and asked you about the meeting in chambers? There were multiple attorneys that specifically talked to me at one time. Would you please apprise the court of the names of those multiple attorneys? Excuse me, objection, Your Honor. We're still far afield again of the limited subject matter that you asked me to stick to. Your Honor, as it pertains to Brady or whatever information, I think it's quite relevant. Who knew what and when as it relates to what was said during the meeting? Okay, well, um, I don't know if it's relevant who revealed it. Who revealed that a meeting occurred? Um, Ms. Bumpus has said that essentially, if I understand you correctly, that at some point during the day, immediately following the meeting, not, I'm sorry, the day of the meeting, you had a conversation with some defense attorney or defense attorneys, and we can sort out who, where you relayed to them everything you knew and everything you recalled about what went on in the meeting, including the off the record conversations, right? Yes. Okay. You want to, you can figure out who that is now. Thank you. Who was it? Name the attorneys that you referred to just a moment ago. Just a moment ago with the question she asked me, Judge Whitaker? With the one I, with the one I asked. Okay. I mean, it's the same topic, right? Okay, ask the question again. Which attorneys, by name, first came up to you and asked you about the meeting? See, Judge, that's two different questions. Yep. Then answer the question Ms. Love asked you. I don't recall, but I think Judge Glanville did judicial notice of me on camera. I don't recall. No, my only question to you is who first came up to you and asked you about the meeting? I don't recall everybody who was there. Who do you recall? Uh, I recall Attorney Steele and Attorney Adams. And I, I can't remember who was the other person. Um, do you remember how many? How many lawyers were there when Mr. Steele and Mr. Adams came up to you an hour after the meeting and asked you about it? How many lawyers were there? Three, I think. Okay. Do you recall seeing Mr. Sharp? Just throwing out names. At some point. So Mr. Sharp, Mr. Steele, and Mr. Adams, within an hour, is that accurate, of the meeting, came to you and talked to you about what happened in the meeting? I would say yes. Okay. Other than Mr. Sharp, anybody else you remember? No. And when they spoke with you, um, regardless of how they got it, did they share with you any details from the meeting? Yes. And what details did they give to you that they already had before you started talking? Objection. This is not Sustained. Correct. Okay. Um, last couple of questions, Judge. Ms. Bumpus, um, when you agreed to um, represent Mr. Copeland, um, did you, during the course of the meeting that you had in chambers, did you ask questions of the prosecutors or the judge about what the immunity statute meant or anything like that? Yes, I asked a lot of questions because I didn't realize until the end of the meeting what was actually going on. That information wasn't given to me. That's all. All right. 